We've covered using Cloud Trace to measure latency in our services, and Open Census to collect custom metric telemetry already. But what if you could use a single library to accomplish both? Today, I'll introduce you to Open Telemetry, the next major release of Open Census, and show you how to use it for distributed tracing. This is the Stack Doctor. As our applications become more complex and more services are involved in serving user traffic and completing transactions, it becomes more and more critical to understand how requests traverse our services and how each service contributes to overall latency. This is what distributed tracing does. It captures the latency of user requests and how long it takes each microservice in the path to return a response. The next release of Open Census is merging with the Open Tracing project in a new open source project called Open Telemetry which provides a single set of APIs, libraries, agents, and collector services to capture distributed traces and metrics from your application. OpenTelemetry is a Cloud Native Computing Foundation sandbox project, and I'm here today to show you how to use it for tracing. Let's start by reviewing the basics. These were originally described in Google's research paper on the Dapper Distributed Tracing Framework. We'll link to it below if you'd like to read it. When a user request comes in, we want to create a trace, the total of information that describes how our system responds to a user request. Traces are composed of spans, where each span represents a specific request and response pair involved in serving the user request. The parent span describes the latency as observed by the end user. Each of the child spans describes how a particular service in the distributed system was called and responded, with latency information captured for each. Let's take a look at a basic example. We have a front-end service that responds to user requests and makes calls to a back-end service. It has to wait on that back-end call to complete to return the response back to the user. We want to trace this interaction to understand both total latency and latency for each service. In the front-end code, we start tracing and create the root span. We then make a request to the back-end with the appropriate context. This is data embedded in the HTTP headers that our back-end can use to append subsequent spans to our trace. In the back-end code, we extract the context from the incoming request and use it to create additional spans. This allows us to explicitly measure the latency of our back-end service. Further, we can create custom spans if, for example, we want to time how long specific backend tasks might take. When we look at trace in the Cloud Console, we can see our trace captured with detailed information about how long each step in the interaction takes. OpenTelemetry takes it a step further by exposing details about the network interactions between our services. We can even see how long it took to do the DNS resolution and establish a connection. I'm incredibly excited by the promise of the OpenTelemetry project. Next time, we'll take a look at how to use OpenTelemetry to gather custom metric telemetry from our services. That's it for this episode. This is the Stack Doctor. Stay healthy out there. <laughs> <laughs>